When my first child was born and had cerebral palsy, I started learning how to become an advocate. My personal journey expanded into, you know, what my kid needed wasn't that different from what all kids needed. I think Advocates does an incredible job of prioritizing and then dedicating resources to those priorities. And I think that's important. If we want to see change happen, it has to be very intentional and very directed. And that's what we get for supporting Advocates. 20 years ago, we really had some major issues related to children having access to both coverage and care. Arkansas Advocates um, really spoke up and spoke out around those issues. Um, at a time when our state was considering budget cuts um, and, and really making changes uh, that could have had a negative impact on child health. I think what Advocates does is recognize the interconnectedness of health care, of education, of juvenile justice, of tax and budget issues in the state, and moreover, for decades has provided the kind of research to help policymakers make wise decisions. Arkansas Advocates uh, spoke out and said, rather than cutting health coverage for children, we needed to make uh, important investments uh, into health coverage. And that resulted in us um, expanding access to public coverage options for children and creating the Our Kids First program. You know, throughout so much of Arkansas's history, we've made policy decisions in a really haphazard manner. We've not been thoughtful. We've not been uh, planners as a state. And the kind of high quality research that Arkansas Advocates provides helps Arkansas, you know, make wise decisions about health care, about foster care, about education in this state. And now more than ever, we need that kind of thoughtful planning for the future. Donor funds are important because they give us the flexibility to work on new and emerging issues uh, that just seem to pop up out of nowhere when we least expect them. And they uh, tend to be issues that are not in our work plan and are issues that we currently don't have grant funds to work on. They play defense in being sure that we don't take a big step back in terms of health care in Arkansas. Um, and whether it's the private option or our kids first, I mean, Arkansas Advocates is there helping to defend really important programs. They play defense on tax issues to be sure that we don't um, make a already regressive tax system even more regressive um, and that we don't uh, create a budget that really guts core programs like education and healthcare in the state. Arkansas Advocates for Children and Families has really been a leading voice on advancing and making progress on child um, health issues. If we don't have the fl flexibility to immediately weigh in on those issues, uh, then we're not going to be an effective voice for children up at the Capitol. I mean, so it's critically important that we have access to those funds because some of the biggest issues that we have faced over the years are issues, again, that just seem to pop up out of nowhere when we least expected them. If you know an organization that you can trust, that you know is going to carry forward with things that you would support if you could get out there and do it all yourself, then I feel that's where you put your time and your effort and your money and your support. Whatever you can throw at those people that keep them moving forward, that's a good investment. That's a, an investment that pays off in the future for, for more than just yourself and your family. It pays off for all of us.